Hello friends, uh, welcome back. This time it is going to be a, a very important topic. As usual, I say this quite often. But this topic is not touched by uh, many because uh, the awareness about this topic is very limited with respect to uh, the beginners particularly and the uh, teachers even at times do not focus much on this topic because this is uh, not something that is taught quite frequently as expected. So this is called namespace in C++. Namespace is one of the very easiest concepts. Uh, actually it's a myth that it is the toughest concept in programming. Templates is toughest in C++. It's all wrong. Actually all of them are very simple and they have a, a lot of value added to the uh, programming. So I will explain you about what is namespace with the easiest example, two simple examples maybe maximum and then you can then tackle it in the interview. Assume that a uh, person uh, called X uh, is having a lot of students just like me. A um, student name is Johnny, for example, as I have mentioned in the uh, slide. Uh, now, in the crowd, there could be so many Johnnies. If I call Johnny, there could be many Johnnies. And out of those many, which one will turn? Obviously, few Johnnies will turn if there are so many Johnnies available in the cloud, uh, available in the crowd. Likewise, I have a function by name add. Um, maybe there would be so many functions like the same name, same function name add would be available and uh, it could be available in other libraries also. So the compiler would get into a real uh, tough situation to identify which of these are to be called and which of this uh, available uh, functions are to be called because uh, there are so many functions available with the same name and it creates a lot of ambiguity. So to avoid this, we use namespace and uh, namespace is like I'll show you an example now that will probably make a lot of sense. Now see that I am creating a namespace called first underscore name underscore space. In that I have a function called foo and I print that hello I am in first namespace. Now I have the second namespace where I name it as namespace underscore second underscore namespace and I have the same function by name foo here and I call it hello I am in the second namespace. Now when I have to call it I will call like this from the main first underscore name underscore space colon colon this is called uh, the scope resolution operator again we have seen this in the beginning uh, scope resolution operator foo now this foo is the function that belongs to the first namespace and this will get called i'll use a pointer again that will be probably helpful yeah this will be this will be called and there will not be any confusion now in the second one, second underscore name underscore space foo, this will be called. This is namespace, simple. Now when I compile it, what is the first one to be executed? Foo, this one to be executed. So where is this located? This is located here. Where is the second one to be uh, used? This is here. So which is the second one? This is the second one. So I got the output accordingly. That is it. A namespace will help you in identifying functions uh, according to their scope, according to the, their visibility uh, without any ambiguity towards calling it. Now I'll go to the next example. See this, this is also easy. Now I'm going to have one namespace called the first underscore namespace and another namespace called second underscore namespace. In the first namespace, I have x is equal to 15, y is equal to 20 and these two are integers. Please see that these two are integers. And inside that, I just say that I am in the first namespace through a function. Now I come to the second namespace where I have the same variable x, same variable y, but they are float. This shows that I can have the same variable name in two different namespaces and they can be of different types without any problem. And inside that I have a function again and that says that I am in the second namespace. Now I go into the main, I use the first namespace and I try to print x. What is x? x should be 15. Now I go to the second namespace using second namespace using is the keyword please remember without this we can't proceed uh, using second namespace I try to print y so what is it I try to get y so now if I print x this x is nothing but this x from the first namespace this y is nothing but this y from the second namespace so we can access x from first namespace y from second namespace likewise I try the vice versa here y from the first namespace and x from the second namespace and likewise i can also call the functions from the first namespace and second namespace this one we have already seen so i can see the output here 15 2.7 2.87 20 1.25 now this is the first namespace this is the second namespace this is how namespace works and i hope you guys have got what is basic namespace concept. This can be used in interview or you can try it out with more details actually which is available in internet all over. I have given you the basic understanding and this would be helping you to tackle questions from namespace.
Thank you very much for supporting my channel and viewing my contents. Thank you.